Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Taylor Ray. I'm a Brooklyn-based actor, athlete, and activist. And today is my wedding day. Richard arranged this amazing car to pick us up at our home in Williamsburg. Me, him, and my mom. Richard and I did spend the night together the night before our wedding, and I'm honestly so glad we did. Then we woke up at around 6 a.m. and I boxed with my coach. I was so happy that I did this. That's my coach Scott and honestly, I love him so much. He's the best and so he came to me in Brooklyn and we boxed It really just helped me get out any stress and anxiety We put on our cute pajamas and we got into Manhattan Our venue is called Gotham Hall and I will show you everything around the venue as we go through our vlog today It's on 36th and Broadway. This is the building. It used to be an old bank. It was called Greenwich City Savings Bank, so it is a landmark. We're so lucky it has a bridal and a groom suite. So Richard went to the groom suite. I was downstairs in the bridal suite. We started hair and makeup at 10:30. So don't believe your friends if they say you have to start at 6 a.m. Because <laughs> I don't think you need to. I had eight bridesmaids, plus Richard had three women who wanted to get their makeup done from his groomsman party. We started out with a little meditation. What you see me doing with my hand, it's quiet coyote from like a Disney movie and that's how I would get all of my friends attention <laughs> and then my friend Kira led us through some breath work I'm so glad that we did that it just kept me calm once my hair was set I explored around upstairs and saw everyone setting up and I was honestly so freaking excited and then of course I had to visit Richard and the groomsmen Richard is so cute with his friends in these pajamas like I'm so glad that they did this I think we should make groomsmen having matching pajamas more normalized like they need it they love it they deserve it it was hilarious putting these eye masks on they were all just so confused it was so funny then I went back downstairs and we unpinned my hair. I was shook to my core. Nicole Palladino from Pala Beauty did my hair and honestly, she freaking turned it out. You will see it throughout the night. She later glues some pearls in it. It was freaking 10 out of 10. This is my bridal suite. There was one side that was for the bridesmaids, one side for me but honestly, we all ended up together like the whole time. Now we're going into our party moment where we did our group pictures. The champagne opened so fast. You're gonna see it like scares me in a second, but I got all of my bridesmaids pajamas from Amazon, just white satin pajamas and mine were from Daily Sleeper. I loved them. I'm telling you, getting these pajamas from Amazon was amazing. I just let everyone pick from 10 options of white satin pajamas and everyone just felt comfortable. The pictures came out amazing. We were having the time of our life. Now let's check on Richard, my sweet prince. A lot of this video is also B-roll from our videographers at We Cinema. They were amazing. And Richard just looks so handsome. This was a custom suit that he got made at Suit Supply. Oh, so sweet. I was so nervous, honestly, to show all of my friends my dress. None of them had even seen pictures of it at all. And just look at how I walked into the room. I swear I look like a little hobbit. <laughs> I do not know why I walked in like that. I think I was just nervous, honestly. But of course, everyone loved it. Everyone was so sweet. My friends are amazing. Like, I am so, so, so thankful for the time and sacrifice and effort they put into being with me on my wedding day. And I just felt like an icon. Then Richard and I had our first look. Now, for our first look, we didn't have any video, any photos. We did it just us. He walked down the staircase and I was standing at the bottom waiting for him. 
we cried we laughed i showed him my dress like i highly recommend doing your first look by yourself and then we still got to take photos in the same spot to kind of commemorate the moment but doing our first look without anyone else didn't make it feel like a performance it got to feel personal and private and just special for us these are our parents watching and just being excited with us and celebrating us our photographers from love framed it's a husband and wife duo and i shoot with the wife and be all the time so i was so comfortable with them and then we got right into some group shots We also took photos, solo shots with each and every one of our bridesmaids and groomsmen, which I think is so special and definitely something I would recommend. I can share my whole wedding timeline if you guys are interested, but we had so much time to take these pictures. We ended up doing them right in front of the venue. We were planning on walking to the New York Public Library, but it started drizzling and we ended up not, and I was so happy with these. These are our parents, like they are literally giving. They look so good. My mom and dad, like, come on. I, wow, I love my mom so much. She's my literal BFF and I love these pictures, beautiful. Richard and I then left the group and walked around the city a bit to get our portraits, just shots of the two of us. Now, I think what was keeping me so calm over the wedding day was one, shooting with photographers I knew. They also did our engagement photos, so we'd shot with them together before. That was amazing. I also had a timeline that was very thought out and just gave us plenty of wiggle room. And I hired my friend Sydney she followed me around with my iPad and basically just helped me stay on schedule. I did have a bridal attendant. I did have a venue manager. But if you've been watching my videos, you know I didn't have a wedding planner. So that was super helpful. Good. Look at each other. Smile. Almost like a drunken walk a little. Like, you know, give it a little movement. All right, go ahead. You can walk. Yeah. Even this is a good place to do the dip right here. After we did our couples shoot, we went back to where Richard's groomsmen were getting ready. I got to see my nieces and give my little niece, Raina, who was our flower girl, a little pep talk. And then we were surprised by a little speech from Talia and Clarissa. I just wanna say you guys are like a light in my life and you're a lot of inspirational. And we all, I'm gonna speak for all of you guys here, sorry, but we all love you more than you love her. Uh, honestly, you guys are my favorite people in the world. I, it's been an honor to be a part of this journey, and I'm really, really excited to see you guys celebrate love. So, we love you guys. Cheers to the Cheers! Let me be clear, I literally had already cried like 10 times on this day. I was so emotional, but I was truly so happy. I feel like I was one of the rare brides that I've spoken to that really had a flawless, perfect day. This is everyone walking in. Our string quartet from Chantel Music was amazing. I wish you could hear them, but you know copyright on YouTube. They played the Bridgerton soundtrack and then they played West Side Story when we walked Walk down the aisle first somewhere and then one hand one heart and that's my grandpa and my uncle 
So you just saw everyone walking into the venue and this is what they walked into. So when you walk through the front doors, we have these two large arrangements with the table cards. We went really classic with our table cards. We had candles everywhere. This is where the main ceremony happened and you can faintly see that there's pipe and drape which separates the ceremony from the reception tables which are already set up back there. I am so in love with this space and I feel so lucky that we were able to get married here. It was truly a dream. We reused this centerpiece for our ceremony around our sweetheart table, which you'll see later in the video. I loved reusing pieces. I thought that was just so functional and useful. And of course, candles everywhere. As we got into the ceremony, I was just so emotional and I think I was surprised that the ceremony became my favorite part of the day. This is my mom and Richard's mom just being the coolest people on earth. Richard looking so, so handsome as he walked down the aisle and we really tried to just be present and take everything in. I was crying as soon as I started walking down the aisle and my dad was just so amazing at helping keep me calm. So we had our groomsmen and bridesmaids stand on opposite sides so we could see their faces. I loved that. We also read our own vows to one another in the ceremony. After the ceremony, we actually made our way to a private room for about 15 minutes where we got to eat some of the food from cocktail hour and just be alone by ourselves and that was super special. Then we went up to cocktail hour, that was just Richard's grandma, these are Richard's cousins and we got to really say hi to everyone. We tried to say hi to everyone that we could during cocktail hour. These are some of my amazing co-workers at Fitcher and I think this was a great time to get to just greet everyone. And of course thank them for coming we had so much yummy food including this mac and cheese made in a cheese wheel after cocktail hour we went off on our own for a little bit again and then we're able to see the room first before anyone else went in i think this is a must do because i got to see all of the hard work and time that we put in into this design it was so beautiful it was so classic it was simple it was elegant it was giving old new york it was everything that i wanted i am so obsessed and you can see us practicing our first dance in the background no one could see us at this point everyone was still at cocktail hour and I thought that was just such a great time for us to get to see the space and it just felt super magical After we got to see the room on our own, we went away for a little bit to make our grand en entrance. It was to Crazy in Love by Beyonce, which you might have heard earlier, the string quartet played as we walked back down the aisle after we were married. Had to tie in my queen Beyonce, of course. And then we went right into our first dance. 
Now, I do spend a little bit of time on this first dance, I'm not gonna lie, you get to see quite a bit of it because I was so proud of us. We took dance lessons for about two months when we first got engaged and then another about two months right before the wedding. So we did a nice quick waltz and it was to Can't Help Falling In Love by Elvis. But once again, because of copyright, you know I cannot play that on YouTube. I felt just so elated while we were doing our dance. I feel like really using my SAT bonus words with elated there, but I did. I felt just completely over the moon, like so full of joy when we did this. And it was really just so much fun. I think that if you're considering taking dance lessons for your wedding and you're not sure, that I highly recommend that you do. I don't think that you'll regret it. We danced for almost a full three minutes and everyone told us that they loved our dance. Time really flew by because we had something to do and it really made us feel so much more confident. If you're curious to hear the full speeches and see the full dances with their original audio and music, I'm actually gonna put our full wedding video on my channel as well and I will link it below. I changed into my second dress right before the speeches and this dress was from Bonk, Bronx and Banco. My first dress was from Kleinfeld. It was a Michelle Roth gown. And this dress I honestly ordered online from Revolve. Me and my dad both wore Air Force Ones and we danced the hustle to More Than A Woman by the Bee Gees. My dad has always been a great dancer so we practiced for like maybe 15 minutes before this <laughs> and I feel like we killed it. Richard and his mom Elaine danced a foxtrot to Dreamin' by Selena. This was Richard's mom's alarm clock when he was a little boy and he remembers waking up to it when he'd be scared in the middle of the night and go sleep with her when he was like four, five, six years old. So cute and honestly, I was sobbing the entire time. This was so beautiful. Of course, as we get to the end of the night, we got all the dancing. The way that we organized it was we had dancing before our entrance, then we had first course, then dancing again, then the main course, then dancing again, and then past desserts on the floor. We had about five or six different past desserts, and I will say the food at our venue was the absolute best wedding food I've ever had in my life. We had a risotto with poached butter poached shrimp as the first course. The entree was a filet mignon au poivre with potatoes, <laughs> me and Richard dancing here. <laughs> and then we also had a sea bass with mashed potatoes because mashed potatoes are my favorite food. And then for our past desserts, we had key lime pie, we had chocolate cakes, we had cheesecakes. I honestly, just so many things. And so we had plenty of dancing time, just like we wanted.